Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we are going to be looking at how to customize the IDE layout and just overall stuff inside of the inside of the IDE. So let's go and create a multi-device application. We choose a blank application. Okay, so here's our form now. So first of all, you can customize the um, toolbars on the panels here on the left and right side. You can change the size of it, however you want to change it. Let's just go to the default one. So when I open Delphi for the first time, this is the default one, how it will look by default. And then you can change it here. Okay. And there are four different um, layouts when you start. There's the none, classic, undocked. Debug layout and default layout. So default is the one we start with in Delphi. Debug one is one is when we compile or when an app is being run. And then the classic undocked is the one that is used by Delphi 7 programmers, where basically you have the components here at here at the top and every window is kind of separate. So everything is undocked. So you can use this layout if you want to. Um let's just, let's just go back to default. Okay, let's say you want the components, for instance, to be at the top and not here on the right side. Then you can close the components here. And you can right click and add component. Then the components will be here at the top, as you can see. You can also add, add other stuff such as a line and spacing and those kind of things. Okay, so that's now I'm going to be um, changing my layout to the way I like it. So I like to have mine a bit up here, the object inspector and the... Uh, Two palettes, and then I like to remove the model view because I never use it, and then as well as the data explorer, and then I'm just left with. Did I just remove something else? Okay, I remove the data explorer, and remove the model view. Then I just have the project manager and the multi-device view. Then you can go and save this layout, but let me just remove this one first. You can save your custom layout. A bit more up. And then you, it will stay like that. So I'm going to save it as result layout. Save it. And now every time I want to use my layout, I just simply go here, go here and choose result layout. Okay. Let's just save it again. Okay. Let's go to tools and options. Here we can start off by changing the object inspector's colors. So here you can go and choose different colors here. For instance, you can make it look like a classic color settings, traditional color settings. Let's choose default. Or let's change the background color, for instance, to let's say active caption. So this is where you can customize how your object inspector looks. But I'm going to make in mind the default one. just not responding a bit default and then the tool palette you can also change for instance you can make the tool palette uh, button size to large and the colors for instance let's choose the purple color color scheme press ok and now you can see the buttons are large and the color scheme is purple so that is where you change the tool palette Okay, let's just change change it back because I like mine as more than color scheme. And I like the tool palette to be small. Next up is the component toolbar. We can change um, how, how your components is laid out and where components are. You can add components or you can re um, remove them, rename them and move them up or down. I'm not going to play around here, but you can go and do that. The next up is the form designer. Here you can choose the grid size. For instance, by default, the grid size is 8 by 8. Let's change it to 80, for instance. For instance, 80. And now if I add, for instance, a button to the form, you'll see that the button is now on 80 by 80 grid. But I prefer mine to be 4 by 4 so let's make it 4 
Okay. So let's look at what other, what, other, what other stuff there are here. You can also go look at the indentation. So I like to have my indentation set to 2. But you can change it. That's basically how much the um, the code will be indented when you, when you press tab. You can also look at the code. You can also, you can also change the source code. Let me just find it. Um... Uh, Where is that code? Here it is. You can also change the indent here. I think it's actually better to change the indenting here. And here's a color scheme for the code. Choose Delphi. And you can, for instance, change the stuff here. Uh, let's, for instance, change Classic. Save it. And then this is how the code looks on Classic. But you can play around there and see what you like, how you want your IDE to look. There's also Twilight and some other ones. Uh, Twilight, Ocean, Visual Studio, but I like mine to be default. And yes, guys, that's basically it. You guys can go play around here. Go to Options and just go through all of these items and see how you can customize your IDE. Okay, so that's basically it for this video. I just simply want to show you guys how to customize the IDE layout and some of the code and such things. Thanks for watching this video guys, if this video helped you in any way, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can go and check out my social media here on the left side of the screen and you can go and follow me on my social media accounts. Also, you can comment down below if you want any specific video on Delphi and maybe I'll make a video about it. If you have any questions, you can also post the questions down in the comments and I will answer them. So thanks for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.